Magandang araw po ulit. So, mabilis ang video lang. And this video is about troubleshooting ng isang issue na na-encounter ko and how I fix it. So, this issue is about the AMD Radeon software. So, na, um, common yung issue na to dun sa isang FB group na nasalian ko. There are a lot of users encountering these issues. And then, there are also solutions na na-mention on how to fix that one. So, this video is about the alternative method na ginawa ko on how I tried to fix that issue and it works for me. Then, um, you can also try if in case na kayo yung user na maka-encounter yung issue na to, baka pwede mo rin gawin. Kasi, um, this is a shorter approach, a shorter method compared dun sa isang method na nabanggit wherein you have to reinstall the drivers and do the clean installation nung um, drivers nung inyong um, graphics okay or no inyong GPU or yung AMD region software so let's see um, I'll show you some I'll show the, you the step kung paano ko yung ginawa so let's now move on to my desktop resuming the video so right now we're here on my desktop so yung issue na na and sinasabi ko sa inyo is if you will see when you try to open the AMD Radeon software, mapaprompt ka na itong um, Radeon software warning message box na to. Na kung saan, yun nga, sinasabi rito is hindi raw compatible yung um, graphics driver na naka-install dun sa akin. And then there are also some F, um, KB link about that issue. Wala naman ako naalala na update within today. Pero yun nga, all of the sudden, when I tried to use the PC, is ganito na yung um, scenario niya. No? So, hindi natin alam kung ano yung nagiging cause, but it's totally random for now. Pero let's leave it to AMD. Hopefully, ma-conclude ma kung ano talaga yung nagiging issue about that one. Okay? So, that's the issue. And then, another way to check kapag meron ka ng um, issue with your graphics drivers is that when you right-click the desktop, so, normally, meron tayong AMD Radeon software na um, display on this upper part. Okay? Pero for some reason, wala yan dun sa, ano natin, wala yan dun sa view natin. And then also, on the task manager, itong bandang lower right part, makikita mo rito, meron din supposedly icon dyan ng AMD Radeon software. Okay? And then, another thing is, when you go to the task manager, here, Sa performance tab, supposedly meron tayong GPU na section dito. Pero nga, for some reason, wala siya. Dahil nga, most likely, corrupted yung ating AMD region software o yung drivers ng ating um, graphics. So, now that we know kung ano yung issue, so proceed tayo dun sa steps kung ano yung approach ko on how I deal with this one. So, what I did is, you can go to your device manager. So, right-click this um, window um, button, then go to the device manager. And then, immediately from this view, may kita po ninyo na naka-expand na yung ating AMD Radeon graphics under the display adapters. And meron siyang icon dito na naka-disable. So, yan yung indication na meron kang problem with your drivers. So, what I'm doing is that, right-click it, and then, um, anyway, if you try to enable this one, hindi rin siya mag-work. So, as you can see, um, nag nabago lang yung ano natin, nabago lang yung um, status, and then we are prompted with this AMD bug report tool. Okay? So, we can um, close this one. We can just ignore it. Ignore it. But what I'm doing is, when you right-click it, um, you go to uninstall. Okay? And then, on the uninstall part, Wag mo munang, ah, sorry, wag mong i-check tong part na to, no? So, wag mong i-delete yung uh, driver software which is currently installed. Kasi, yun din naman yung software na gagamitin mo later on. So, keep it unchecked and then proceed with the uninstall button. So, when you click on uninstall, so, um, immediately magre-refresh yung um, screen and then if you will notice, nawala rito yung ating display drivers. But for the system to relearn kung ano yung components na naka-install on our system, just click this part to scan for the hardware changes. So when we click it, um, temporarily mag-flicker yung screen, namata yung ating display. But when it comes back, makikita mo na ulit yung display adapters. And then when you expand this part, 
wala na yung kanyang um, disabled or yung parang warning na icon dun sa portion ng ating display. No? So, properly naka-enable na yung ating graphics. So, when you check it, so I'll, I will go to right-click. Ayan. So, may kita mo na rito yung AMD Radeon software. Unlike nung kanina, na wala yung part na yan. And then, on the task manager, as you can see, nandito na rin yung ating display. Nandito na rin yung icon. Okay? And then, whenever you try to open this one, although I can open it from here, pero for the sake of this video, dito ko na lang din siya bubuksan para similar nung step na ginawa natin kanina to, the, to identify yung issue. So, when you click on AMD Radeon software, supposedly, yung warning message box is hindi na siya mag -appear, and then the application will now load properly. So, yun yung step na ginawa ko. You can um, try that one no, first. So, from here, um, makikita natin na properly loaded na no, um, yung ating AMD region na software. Um, sorry, isa pa. Go to our um, task manager ulit. So, from here, when you go to the performance tab, so, may kita mo na rin dito yung um, additional information about dun sa ating GPU, which is earlier wala yung um, part na yan. So, basically, that's the method that I am using and it works for me. At kung sakali man na ma-encounter nyo rin yung ganong issue, so, I suggest na gawin nyo muna tong approach na to kasi mas, mas simple siya, mas madali siyang gawin. And then, if this method did not work, saka natin gawin yung isang option na napag-usapan sa group wherein you have to uninstall and do a clean installation ng drivers ng ating um, graphics card. So, I hope this step ay makatulong din sa inyo on how it helps me as well. Just type it in the comment section. So, let me know and let other people know kung ano pa yung approach na pwede mo rin, na pwedeng gawin to resolve the issue. Okay? And then, if in case na hindi pa po kayo nakasubscribe sa ating channel, you may also click on that subscribe button or subscribe link Maraming salamat. I hope this video ay makatulong at meron ko information na na-share sa inyo. So, thank you for tuning in. Maraming salamat po. Hanggang dito na lang. Thank you and God bless.